Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to this week's Point Counterpoint. I'm Ted Leapak, and joining me as always is Blair Henley, and today we're talking about three out of five sets. It's been rumored that Billie Jean King's latest crusade is to have men play two out of three sets on the hardcourt Grand Slams to lessen the negative impact on their bodies. She also claims girls are willing to play three out of five sets, but they aren't allowed. Your thoughts? Uh, I don't agree with this. I think that men should be allowed to play a full five-setter, and I'm not sure that women can really compete at the five-set level. I think that there are the, the athletes that can. There's the Sam Stozers. But, I mean, for every athlete that can, I think there's another athlete that can't. I think that, you know, if we start seeing five-set matches between women, Maria Sharapova is going to have a lot more trouble playing Sam Stozer. She's gonna, it's going to make a drastic change in the women's game. And I think that, you know, she's going to, the stamina oriented players like Stozer, who can handle the five sets, are going to start climbing in the rankings. I think it's all what you get used to. I think the women haven't had to do it, but I absolutely think they could. And if we're, we're going to go by looks to judge athletic ability, then I don't think we would think Roger Federer would be number one in the world. I'm because, not going by looks. Oh, pff, okay. Well, difference between just... Stozer and Sharapova. It, it's an obvious difference, yeah. right? But here's the thing. Tennis players aren't built like a whole lot of other athletes. No. It's very deceiving. Who the heck knows? They could be great at three out of five sets. It, you know, we could have some unknown that's ranked 50 in the world who is in super shape and ends up winning, you know, three out of the four Grand Slams in a calendar year, and then we have a new superstar. We'll I don't see. think there's anything wrong with but that. But I also don't think men should be held back because of the potential to be injured. I mean, that's a, it's a sport. You're going to put your body on the line, and I think that that you got to suspend the suspense as long as you can. And I think five set matches and Grand Slams is what makes Grand Slams so interesting. Well, I like to use my NBA game analogy. I'm not super interested until we get to the fourth quarter. And for me, if that fourth quarter in tennis comes in the third set or in the fifth set, it, it, to me, it's still just as exciting. And, and, you know, consider the Sony Open. It's called the fifth Grand Slam. It's two out of three sets. Same thing with Indian Wells, two yeah. out of three sets. Very commercial, very popular tournaments. I don't think it's less than the popularity because the men are playing two out of three instead of three out of five. Good point. All right, next up. BBC viewers complained that commentators Lindsay Davenport and John McEnroe were favoring Serena in her final match against Aga Radwanska. They cited the fact that they kept calling Serena by her first name and Radwanska by her last. Are those accusations unfounded? I Hang on, I'm going to answer this first. Have you ever seen... Agnieszka Radwanska's name spelled out. I, I hate to say it, I don't know that a lot of Americans could pronounce it. And to be honest, did a ton of people know who she was in the first place? Yeah. Probably not. Oh. I, yeah, no. I think they did. Well, she tennis, fans, been number one. tennis fans know who she is, but yeah. she's relatively new on the scene. That's true. Serena, on the other hand, has been around for 10 years, 15 years. She, to me, is in the same category as Madonna or Tiger or Michael, and she's her own brand and deserves to be called by her first name. I agree with you. I think that Serena Williams is Serena because she's she's a franchise. She's a, <laughs> yeah. she's a, a person all by herself. So she's definitely... I think I think the BBC viewers are are a little crazy for thinking <laughs> that anyone was favored, but Agnieszka Radwanska is very hard to pronounce, and Agnieszka, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. Can't even get it right. So. <laughs> All right. That's been it for this week's Point Counterpoint. Tell us what you think on Facebook and Twitter, or let us know in the comments section below. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now. <laughs>